Hello, welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you how to make a this simple Dixie cup, okay? Or they can just say a paper cup, but what they really call it is a Dixie cup. So let's begin. I'm gonna press Control N, make a new file. Uh, I don't need to save it. Okay, so here we are with the power of the default cube, the camera, and the light. Well, I'm gonna delete the light and the camera because well we don't need those yet actually we don't need it now so i'm going to delete the cube because we're not going to use the cube if you want to use the cube then it's up to you so i'm just going to delete it shift a to add uh i actually use a circle if you want to use a cylinder also fine but delete the face okay so now i'm going to use the cylinder too there we go scale just like that wrap David something like that okay now delete those face and the below as well because we don't need them all right here's the cup quite high but yeah very useful so I'm gonna go to edge select press 2 or you can just press over here I'm gonna press 2 now there we go select this edge there so what i'm doing now is i'm going to make this uh, something like it's going to i'm going to make this round okay so how do i make that i'm just gonna screw it scale it's not uh <laughs> not quite perfect but it's a good way to start Something over there screw it scale screw it scale through that to the dead. let me see uh nope not like that my apologies my mistake okay so just do it like this okay uh screwed scale there we go if you want to make it big then make it big i'm gonna make it big now <laughs> all right screwed z Go to go to bottom over there and maybe scale it a bit. I'm gonna make this round then. Right? Screwed. Uh screwed to the Z. Oh wait. I screwed. Alright, oh, to the Z. Okay. And over there. And scale. Screwed scale. Again. Okay, now over there, if you can see this thing, oh, or you can just go to the wireframe, you can go to here. All right, now we can see, screwed to the Z. Okay, there we go. Now let's add a loop cut. This one, and scale. There. This one, nope. This one, bring them up. This one, what I'm doing is I'm making this round. Well, almost round. And let me turn this off. And look at that. Look at that. Uh, that round stuff there. And for the bottom, we'll deal with it later. But first, we're going to add the subdivision surface. I know it's going to be weird. Yes. Okay, it's not going to be weird. Increase this to 3. You increase to four it's fine if you have a powerful pc but actually if you increase to four it's fine as well because this this is not very heavy as well not heavy i mean, I mean. <laughs> all right here we go now i'm gonna go to here select those edge over there and it's good in scale if you press f that's what that's what happened you want to fix that you can go to here but you still want to uh, insert the face. Press I to insert. That's also okay. So I'm going to just go like that. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Scale. The reason why I make it like this. Because I want this to be. As. I, I want to hide those. Because I don't want that. Okay. Scale there. Okay. We still can see it. But we can make it small. Insert again. 
in that face make it as small as you can now you can see anymore okay all right so now let's add a loop cut if you want to make uh, this bottom of there sharp or you can just use the mean crease okay yeah undo that is it over here nope not that one this one okay press n make sure you add item and that that's the mean crease there see now it's begun to sharpen and that part works well as well okay so there it is that's that's the basic shape of a dixie cup okay now don't forget to apply your subdivision okay but um, yeah i'm gonna apply it now shift a not shift a control a i think or you can just go to here apply okay so i'm gonna move my cursor over here select this one control a and should be applied very nicely let's go to tab yeah that also fine even though there's lots of face but this is just one object so let's go to shading okay i'm gonna stick to white but i'm gonna eat i'm gonna add some color ramp on it shift a to add a uh, converter oh where is it or you can just go to search okay and go to color ramp okay let me move that zoom that a little bit uh color to the base color i'm not gonna make this thing very black so i'm gonna make him something like so something a little bit more like that because i don't want this for black uh, shift a to add a texture if you want this to work okay add a texture where is it what texture do i want no oh, my favorite is the noise because i use this most of the time all right go to the fact to the fact okay if you want to use the color to the fact it's also fine as well okay so i'm gonna use the fact to the fact all right now i'm gonna go to here and i'm gonna adjust the this one the what do you call it i don't know numbers ish scale increase the scale something like that it's not very ugly but it still works well detail uh if you want to see the detail and increase the detail roughness make it more all right distortion i don't need distortion for this now i'm gonna bring this black nearly to here but that's gonna lose the magic okay so i'm gonna wait to here bring this a little bit more all right you want to go like this that's also fine increase it also fine up to you so it's quite dirty but okay i think that looks very good if you want to add few colors you can use the plus there and i think this one right and just the right there you can add some as many colors as you want completely up to you okay i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna need that but if you want you can do that okay so that's how to model a dixie cup any color you want your liking okay so very easy go ahead start make your own cup there good for beginner okay <laughs> and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay now see you later